Hello everybody, this is Dr. Hefe playing XCOM Enemy Unknown. And first of all, I'd like to apologize for the audio in the last video. I was trying something new and apparently it didn't work out too well. So I'm back to recording it the old way. And I think I'm going to finish this XCOM series recording it the old way. So that means lower, lower audio levels, but at least it should be better quality. And I'll try and work on figuring out how to use that audio recording software. And maybe I'll change it up in another, once I start a new series. But, let's see, first of all, we're going to go take out a new UFO, UFO Zero apparently. Class Abductor, and they're trying to harvest some live specimens. So I'm going to show you guys in this video some new armor, the ghost armor as well as using the Psy armor to hopefully capture the minds of some different enemies besides the Thin Men. So let's send our Sky Ranger. Alright, actually we're gonna have to edit this unit out, sorry. I have a new soldier. I'm gonna bring him along. So always make sure that you take all your weapons and armor off the old soldiers before you bring your new ones in. So I got Padre, Ernesto Sanchez, and apparently he has psionic abilities, so let's, let's use him in this battle, why not? So let's give this guy some ghost armor. The troops should have no trouble handling recon duty as long as they're equipped with this suit. It's as close as we've come to true invisibility. That's pretty groovy. Pretty groovy suit right there. Let's outfit this guy with some plasma pistols and a med kit. And why don't I have more chitin armor? I don't think I can actually create any more. Whatever, we'll give him a scope instead. Let's see. I should also give my other assault unit some ghost armor as well. That way he can run and gun while invisible. So let's try this try this out, you know? Never played with this ghost armor before. And we'll see how many people get slaughtered due to my naivete. Strike one. Prepare for landing. Where am I going? What is this? New Mexico? That's cool. Yeah, get ready so it's the United deploy. States. Our so AO is within the New continental Mexico. United States. Reports indicate the UFO set down in a sparsely populated area. We need to stay sharp and eliminate the- Yeah, yeah, whatever, Central. You always give me the same bullshit briefing. You should give me, like, some, you know, advice or something, right? HQ, this is Big Sky. We are in position and awaiting further orders. Roger that, Big Sky. Oh, Strike ghost. One, it's got a point. little ghost Approach down there. Extreme caution. Current enemy status at the site is unknown. Grapple? What can I grapple to? Nothing, apparently. Oh, that's so cool. It's a little ghosty guy. Alright. Let's go see if we can find some aliens. Let's see, how long does ghosting even last for? I should figure that out. Apparently pressing F1 isn't working right now. Let's see. Ghost. What? Does it tell me? Why not? Oh well. We'll figure it out sometime. Let's move our soldiers up into offensive positions. Well, I should have given this guy some uh, psi armor, actually, since he has psionic abilities. Oh well, we'll be testing out the ghost armor. Plus, he doesn't have the awesome abilities to mind control people, so it's okay. You, man, switch into a plasma pistol. Padre. Well, speaking of Padres, how about them Giants, huh? Doing pretty good. Going to play in the World Series. Probably should have this video uploaded by a game one time, so you guys will have that to enjoy. And let's change the camera angle so that uh, I don't freak out over here. 
from not being able to move correctly. All right, what did we, what did I see over here? Oh, all right. So I'm gonna go ghost mode. Lasts one turn or until an attack is made. Going dark. Okay. So does that mean it's gonna last throughout this turn? I don't quite know. Let's find out. Let's let's just have him up there. I'm gonna keep these other guys kind of away so that they don't trigger the enemies. Wagner, I'm gonna need you to come over here too. I need you to go behind this rock. Yeah, that rock. And you can come over here, I guess. How about you, Mr. Papa? Uh oh. We're triggering enemies. <laughs> That was foolish of me. I'm gonna actually want to have you run away. This is not this is not a good position for you right now. And by run away, I mean run up here. Yeah. Come on. So now that I actually have the mouse cursor being shown in the videos. You guys can see some of the fun I'm having trying to move these people. It's, it's more enjoyable, I think. I'm including you in the, the multiple joys of being unable to move your person. All right, what do I want to do here? Try to mind control the berserker? Or should I mind control his muton friend? I think mind controlling the berserker would be more awesome. So let's see if this works. Don't resist yes! Aww, oh, a mind controlled berserker? That's freaking awesome. Okay, I'm gonna leave this guy up here. Not even gonna put him in Overwatch. Just gonna have him. Yeah, hunker down, bro. Uh, Padre. Stay over here. I hope they don't kill my Berserker. Nice. I want to see this guy in action. I want to see him slaughter his own kind. He's going to intimidate his own people. That's awesome. Oh, okay. So it only lasts for one turn. So if I went... I see what I could do. So I could ghost here, run and gun up here, then decloak and start shooting at those guys. I'm gonna do that next. That's gonna be my plan. Well, let's see what goes on here. Bull rush. Oh, that's, I think I know what that does. Charging a straight line through cover to unleash a devastating melee attack. So I could like run all the way over here. How do I bull rush? Can I bull rush this guy? No, apparently not. Oh, this guy. Nope, apparently not that guy either. 11 damage on this fool. Do it. Oh! <laughs> Punch to the face, son. Okay. That was awesome. I should... Man, Wagner can't even hit that guy. Oh, well. Oh, he can ghost this turn. All right, I thought I had like a cooldown or something. All right, let's do that. Ghosting. So he's ghost. Now I'm gonna run and gun. Going in for the kill. Hopefully not do anything too foolish. Run and gun my way over here. This is probably gonna be the last mission uh, Mr. Max Zoo lives on, lives through. And let's just pop out and who should I kill? Probably should kill this guy since I'm so close. Hello! They're like, oh what? What just happened here? Uh oh. Wait, did I get a second shot? What happened there? That was odd. Oh well. 
Wagner, you can't hit either of those guys? Uh-oh. I did not mean to sacrifice you, Max Zoo. Can you hit any of these guys with your stupid plasma pistol? No. But he does have squad sight. So if Max Zoo survives this, <laughs> then he should be able to do some damage. That's a very big if at this point. Let's run these guys out here. A oh, mind fray. That could be very useful. Considering that. Yeah. Considering that I just led him into his own death, basically. So let's fire at one of these guys. Okay. That's what I'll have her do. I think this is a good way to go about fighting tactically, is that you have to kind of move all your units, use your first movement, kind of decide what your units can hit, and then do your attack turn. What are you going to be doing back here? Nothing? Probably. Yeah, definitely nothing. Definitely a whole lot of nothing up here. So I'm trying to move him behind this tree. Yeah, come on. Why do I have to hold my mouse cursor so far down from the square I want to select? That's what I want to know. Can't do anything back there. Let's see, let's have you mind fray this guy. Oh, so I could have both of them mind fray him for one kill. So let's do that. Pissed off, huh? It's gonna get worse when this rookie psionic guy gets in your brain. He's gonna mess it all up. Stalin, he's a surgeon with the mind fray. This guy's a butcher, just sliced your brain all up. All over. So I should shoot this guy then, right? Sure. Alright, cool. So now we only have that berserker to deal with. And we'll move Wagner up as well. <laughs> and now we can't see anybody. Alright, let's see what this guy does. They're trying to pull back. They're trying to pull back. Yeah, well that's too bad. I got a Muton Elite with me. He ain't down with that shit. Oh, your reaction shot. Because you're an assault guy. That should have hit him. And you're gonna get punched in the gut. Oh! What was that? Just got backhanded across the face. Damn, son. Alright, where's my where's my homie? Big ol' badass. I love how it's just a fist that he has. Ugh. Controlling this guy is awesome. Why can't I hit this guy? Whatever. Put him up close and personal. Um. So I should have my newbie, my rookie, come up here and kill this thing. Probably best. This guy's gonna get up close and personal. Shazam! Boom! Where's your head at? Where's your head at? Alright. Alright. Guess I could just fuck with this guy. Make him side panic. Although panic has a way of backfiring. They usually just end up trying to shoot me back here. Ah, he's running. That didn't quite help. Oh well. Whatever's. Let's move into the alien ship with these other guys. Actually, I should probably start shooting at that other stupid muton back there. Even if he is panicked. Come over 
here. Reload your gun, my good man. <laughs> Trying to do that assault cloak attack move wasn't quite, didn't go off quite as well as I thought it would. Let's just put it at that. So I believe there was only 15 enemy aliens in this ship. We've already encountered six of them. Yeah, that guy's just freaking out back there. You. Kill your brother. Must do it. What? What do you mean no melee target? This guy right here. This 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 guy. Kill him. What what are you guys doing there? Ugh. Freaking pissing me off. This is what I do to people. Piss me off. Yeah, take that. That's what you get for not obeying my orders to kill your brother. What do you think of that, huh? I guess I could have mind prayed him. But I prefer for plasma at times. Okay. Good times, everybody. I think you need to uh, heal up our good man, Max Zoo. What? Not Wagner? Oh, that is Max Zoo. Whoops. <laughs> good as new. There we go. Let's uh, move up on this ship. Let's see what's going on in here. I want you to take the high ground, my good man. Let's see who still needs to move him as well. You can go along the low area. And how about you give me some overwatch, my good doctor? So as you guys can see, the Psy armor is great. Normally I would not have been able to con mind control that berserker, but the little boost from the Psy armor really helped me do that. And he was able to kill one of his brothers, kind of balked at the second one, or I just don't know how to control berserkers, but God's going to have to forgive me on that, because that was the first time I've controlled the Berserker before. And let's see. This better not be another one where they're on top of the ship again. <laughs> Although it was fun. That one was fun. Running around trying to find them. Let's go over here. Let's find out what's through this door. So I've been learning some more strategy, and uh-oh. The thing that you can do is, instead of like standing here and engaging these guys, I can always just run away. And sometimes that actually is a more wise decision. It enables you time to get all your men into a good position to fight them. Plus, you know, you can kind of set up a trap. Like, I can create an ambush point right here if they all come out through here. Which is what I think I'm going to do. So let's put these men into overwatch. And... Do I want to flank these guys, perhaps? No, not yet. Him also into Overwatch. Oh, he can see an enemy. Hmm. Perhaps I should start mind fraying them. Making them freak out a little bit. And mind fray does more than just damage. If you guys remember, it also reduces their movement and aim. So it has multiple uses. Let's move Wagner into position. I want to see him start mind controlling some people. Whoops. Didn't want to switch back. I don't believe they're going to try and flank me this way. This guy's going to try and shoot at me. And he hit me. That's okay. He's a doctor. He can heal himself. 
He has run and gun abilities. So if I move him up here. Uh oh. You guys were waiting for me, huh? Luckily, they only got one hit. I can live with that. So he can do a double shot on him. I want to use Wagner to come over here and steal some people's minds. You only got that guy? Alright, whatever. We'll steal his mind, even though he's already injured. He's like a, another expendable ver person on our crew. He's like those rookies that I always kept slaughtering. And who else do I want to move up? He can just barely get into position. He can attack. He's got one of them flanked. She can move all the way in and flank them. Where is my other guy? You can't do anything from back here. Can you? Nah. Don't even be able to mind frame. Alright. You can move last. Sanchez, you can also just barely get into attack position. So let's fire on this man. But I want to make sure Sanchez gets the kill. Hmm. Mind fray or shooting? Let's shoot him. And by shoot, of Shot course wide. I meant miss him. Let's see where I can throw my doctor in. Over here. Righty then. 12 damage, excellent. So this guy, let's see, he has a 70% chance. I wonder if I, at close range, the plasma pistol does seem to have a better chance of hitting. But not that time. So let's use our plasma rifle. Get a kill. Excellent, excellent. Now you, my good sir. Double tap to this guy's face. I think so. Or a single tap, you know, if that's uh, your style. So we've been doing pretty good clearing out this enemy alien ship. Although I now have this Muton Elite who will betray me at some point. Just as that Thin Man did. And he's still mind frayed. Whoops. You are, you are worthless, my good sir. Hopefully you can find me some enemies. Sacrifice yourself gloriously for the cause. Move Mr. Zoo down here. Just so he can get some healing. From my doctor. I believe she can heal 10 points, Come whereas my on, other doctor can only heal ASAP. 6 points. Because he is not a colonel yet. does not have that ability. He can heal himself, though. That'll be fine, just fine. Not him, yourself. We do not want you healing our frenemy. Our best frenemy right here. <laughs> friend of me. Who the fuck says that? Wagner, you need to get your ass in here. I guess you can go up here. Take the high ground. And Stalin, you need to get your ass up here as well. Cool. And sure. Go to that little hourglass looking spot on the map. Alright, open the door. Open the door. None of you guys can open the... You're standing right in front of the door. You can't open it. Ah, fucking A. Sometimes I get a good feeling, but not when I'm playing XCOM. Oh yeah. Oh, 
No enemies in here. I was trying to find this guy, someone he could sacrifice himself to, but I haven't found anybody yet. So it is, so there are people on top of the ship. I, I, heard something. I believe. Unless they're outside through here. What? What the hell was that? Probably an ethereal. That's fine. Nothing wrong with ethereals. Except for when they mind control you and kinetically reflect bullets back at you. So this guy I don't believe is mind freight anymore, so you can run up here. Go find me some enemies before you switch teams. So where do I want to go? I'm not quite sure of that yet. What my strategy is going to be. I think we'll take this. We'll go this way towards wherever our destination is. Let's go into Overwatch. Once she stops running, you can go into Overwatch. You as well. Man, you have way too many little hotkeys down there. Go into Overwatch. You go into Overwatch. And you go into Overwatch. So let's see, there should be two more groups. Each group has three. And three goes into 15 five times. And we've minus three groups we've already encountered. And we get mathematics. Alright. Why can't I open these doors anymore? Do I have to be like standing right here next to it to open it? Is there like a little button I'm supposed to be pressing over there? Alright. Go find the enemy. <laughs> there they are. What? These guys are fools. <laughs> they ran outside to where my men can shoot them. That was that was pretty fortuitous. Okay. Hmm. What do I want to do now? I kind of want to mind control some of them. You should be able to see them from right here. Oh yeah. Yeah, he definitely will be able to. So let's mind control. Let's mind control this guy. So now you're seeing the awesomeness of the size suit. Like before, I was having only 74% chance to grab these guys, 100% chance. This is definitely gonna fuck their day up. All right. How do I wanna continue this shooting of enemies? Move some of them into cover, probably be a good idea. He can run and gun up there if need be. I'll move my doctor. Let's go over. 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 Yes, over there. Oh, she can fire on him. Alright. Let's begin our slaughtering of the one who is not mind controlled. Damn it. What are you doing with the plasma pistol? because you can't even see anybody. Why not? He's right there. Everybody else can see him. What's your problem, Wagner? I suppose I could just have everybody mind frame him. Mind fray is nice, especially with the Psy armor. You know, you're getting a 100% chance to hit, which is good because these Muton elites have extra defense. They're extra armored, so it's harder to hit them. So it's nice to have a way to just have a definite kill. A definite way of just getting 100%. Yes, imagine yourself, Muton Elite, as not an elite, but just a regular puny Muton. So damaging to your mind. You will be broken forever. Let's move good old Max Zoo up here. the 
glory of China. Uh oh. That guy switched teams. Yeah, suck on that ethereal. Didn't see that one coming, huh? No, you can't take him back. He's mine. Oh, what the hell was that? He just laser punched him in the face. That's not good. I'm not into that at all. Let's see, can I mind control this ethereal though? No, they're all on cooldown. Well, I have something better than mind control. It's called a bullet to the face. Stalin. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Or miss. No way that just happened. Man, fuck it. Where's fucking Wagner? I ain't playing around. Yeah. What say you now? Hmm? I thought I missed right there. I forgot about their death animation. It's very different. It does a little scream and then falls down and dies. I was like, what? He's still standing. So I know there's got to be another muton in here. The one who switched sides again. I thought you were my friend. How could you do this to me? No one betrays the XCOM team. No one betrays us and lives. So I'm going to assume that those other guys are up on the roof. And how am I going to get up there? Ah, through that door and then climb the ladder. All right. Unless they're somewhere down here, hiding like a bunch of wimps. Open the door. See anybody? Nope. Good enough for me. How about you? See anybody? Still no. Okay. That's fine. They're up on the roof. And we shall go find them. And control their minds. I'm, I'm really loving Psy Powers now. Now that I got this Psy suit, I can control people so easily. This this makes the game. Target acquired. Oh, never mind. They're not up on the roof. They're all hiding out down They're there. My uh oh. I should not have thrown him out there all alone. And I don't have any other abilities. All right, smoke grenade. You should uh, both be hidden from enemies. I believe they can both get high in that cloud too. I have put some drugs into that smoke. Ow. This is why you don't rush into battle. This is why you take your time, be methodical. Because if they kill him, I'm going to be pissed. That I lost such a great colonel. My god. What terrible strategy is this? Oh well. He was a good soldier. And he died a peasant's death. In fact, he was a fucking awesome soldier. But, I suppose I can just say that that was for missing in that one mission. I never forgive Josef Stalin when you were missing in the alien base assault. That is your punishment. Completely unfitting punishment. And what? What is my strategy for this one? Ah. You can't mind control people. That sucks. What, what skill do I have this guy? profile in the zone. I 
don't think he can flank any of these guys, unfortunately. Let's get him to some good cover. And let's go for some headshots. Smoke clouds. That would suck to have such a great mission. A mission that was going so well end with multiple XCOM members' deaths. I mean, one person dying, that's fine. But if more people die, I'd be kind of pissed about it. Going in for the kill. Alright, go in for the kill, buddy. He doesn't even give a fuck. Yeah, what, you trying to intimidate me? You can't intimidate me from your death. Or, when you're dead. Yeah, that sounds better. Alright. Up still in the smoke cloud. Should probably. Oh, he has an 85% chance to hit. Only do 8 damage. Probably be better to mind fray this guy. That way they have less of a chance to hit and do criticals and kill units. Oh, he's running. He's afraid. Oh, he's doing his blood call. Call of the blood. What a bunch of freaking jerks. Just came here. Just came here to kill you guys. You guys just had to freaking set a trap out here. Although it was a very terrible trap. I was just very foolish to walk into it. Um, thank your ass. No, it's coming both ways. Whatever. Sure. Keep firing. Kill these guys. And you got your squad sky sight skill, so just kill this fool over here. Oh, Wagner, you are the best sniper in the world. Yep, what are you doing? Are you are you drinking over there? You having yourself a good drink after killing some mutants? Don't worry, you deserve it. Well, that did kind of suck that we lost Yosef Stalin, but I'm not too broken hearted about it. I do believe that I'm actually very close to the end of the game. So he's a Psy specialist now. Awesome. But you're wounded for four days. What? That's a bummer. Alien flight computers, nice. So that was a interesting mission using Psy abilities on higher level enemies than stupid thin men, as well as using the ghost armor very ineffectively. So I don't think I'm gonna be using it in future missions, but there you go, it's a good, good look at it. And hope you guys uh, enjoyed that video. Um, yeah, like I said, sorry about the audio in the last video. I'll try and figure that out in the future. But until then, look at that, Gollop Chamber. I believe this is actually the last mission. So, uh, yeah, expect to see that in the future. Last mission. We're at the finale already, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. So, yeah, get, uh, get excited, get pumped up. Get ready to kill these aliens. They're freaking got their big ass ship over here, trying to act like they're badasses. No, we're gonna blow them all to hell. All right, but till then, take care of yourself.